Brick Crack, welcome back. It is your favorite egg, GFA. And today we are looking at every single hidden stash location on Shoreline. Let's get right into it. Before we start, in the description you will find a link to another video that I released today that accompanies this one about how to make a lot of rubles in Escape from Tarkov using these stashes and uh, scav runs around this map. So make sure to go check that out if that interests you. But uh, if you've come over here from that video, wait no more. Let's hit all these stashes and I'll show you every single location along the way. We're going to break shoreline up into four sections. So we have section one at the top left, section two at the bottom left, section three at the top right, and section four at the bottom right. I've put some timestamps on the screen to let you know when we will be hitting each area in case you are currently in raid or you're looking for a specific stash in a certain area. We're going to start here at Fiatli Dead End Extract and then head north along these fences until you come to a group of buildings right on the edge of the village. In these group of buildings you'll see a house with a sign on it and you'll find some flower bed looking things. You want to head to the fence where the swamp meets the village and just below this bush you will see a buried stash with some leaves on top. We're then going to head north along this road towards the sunken village. If you are finding the video a bit too quick just slow it down to 0.25% or just refer to the map at the bottom left as we go. When you get to the village stay to the outskirts you want to look for some fence posts with some stacked timber and a campfire and just on the outside of the fence post will be your buried barrel. We're then going to head into the sunken village, make sure to avoid the swamp as it really slows you down and stick to the pathways that are there for you. You want to go to this first house and in between the house and their fence you will find another stash with some leaves on top. From here we're going to look around to the southernmost building and if you head to the small shed bolted onto the side you will find another buried barrel. We're then going to head over to the church. The church is the easiest building to find as it's quite large and it's a church. So if you head inside and then out the right door you'll find a fallen fence and a destroyed house. Use the fence to jump across the swamp and you'll find your buried barrel in the other corner. From here we're going to make our way back through the church and out the other side through the graveyard and then you'll see a big swamp area with a buried barrel in the middle of it. Unfortunately there's no quicker way across this swamp so you just have to hope Shrek's not in. We're then going to head east up the hill. You'll see the church on my right hand side. You want to head up the hill and along this power line until you reach the power line itself you'll see the church through this crack in the rocks and just below the tree is another stash. Heading south you will come to the field with all the hay bales in it. You're looking for the hay bale in the middle of the field that is to the rear right of the tractor. Moving on to the campsite that is next to the resort, we're going to head directly east until we find ourselves a road. From there head up the hill, you can see here the field that we just came from. We're going to head up the hill and on top of the hill you'll find a tent. You want to head to the rear right hand side of the tent and just below the tree you will find another buried barrel. We're then going to make our way over to the resort itself. Once you reach the signpost take a right into the bus terminal. We're going to head straight through for now and go back down the hill keeping the perimeter wall to your left. You'll find a pile of rocks with some ferns and some white and green shrubs and just down here there's another buried stash. It's quite hard to find so make sure you slow down the video. We're going to head back towards the bus terminal keeping this fence on our left hand side. We're going to find a buried barrel at the bottom of this tree right on the corner of the bus terminal. Now the final two stashes for area one at the northmost part of the map. So we're going to just head up there, I'm going to keep all the footage in so you can follow along if you need to and just keep going until you start to see the big dome from reserve. Now once you reach this area you will see the dome on top of the hill, you will see a crashed drone and you'll see a huge rock. Head around the back of the rock until you're in between the rock and the perimeter wall and just down here you'll find a bush with uh, another stash. Finally we're going to head east until we hit the fence 
Now you can't actually make it through this fence, so don't even bother trying. I'd also recommend not trying to jump over like I did here because I broke my legs. If you just head along the fence, you'll find an opening at the bridge. Take that opening and then run back along the water, keeping the fence to your left and the water to your right. Once you reach the tree, you actually will run into an invisible wall. The only way to loot this dash is by going prone, but you will find it at the bottom of the tree. And that will complete area one. Let's move on to area two. We will be starting area two at the very bottom right near the fuel station. The first dash is on the beach between these metal huts. You really can't miss them as they are the only huts on the beach. You'll be able to see the stash underneath, it's in the westernmost little hut. From here we're going to continue heading west along the beach, keeping the water to your left and the land to your right, until you hit a sewer pipe and a billboard. To the right hand side of the sewer pipe is a group of small rocks, and just by these rocks is another buried barrel. Continuing west we will come to Scav Island. Now the only way onto Scav Island is across this big boat, so run across until you reach the land. And as soon as you get onto the island, you will see a shed and some hung up washing of some sort. At the back of the shed, between the stacked timber, you will find another buried barrel. We'll make our way back across the boat and start heading north more inland. until you come across this destroyed house with this large pile of rocks. Right next to these pile of rocks, you'll find your next buried barrel. Moving on, head towards this power line and then chuck a right and go down this peninsula of water on both your right and left hand side until you see the sewer pipe. On the very edge of the water, you will see a bush and a stash in the bush. We will then loop our way around to the construction site. So if you head east along the road, you'll see a perimeter of blue fences with a construction site inside. And at the northwest most corner of this construction site, you will find another buried barrel in the bush. Leaving the construction site, we will head west into the village towards Fiatli Dead End. Now you want to head inside these fences through the barn and next to this pallet you will find a bush and in the bush is another buried stash. This one can be a bit tricky to find but once you know the layout of the buildings you'll be fine. For the next stash make your way back out to the main road until you see this green van and destroyed car and if you keep heading down the road you will see a truck and some blue fences with a dumpster in the middle, the next barrel is next to the dumpster. From the dumpster just head across the road to these large cinder circle block things, I don't know what they're called, <laughs> and uh, inside one of them is another buried barrel. Finally we're going to make our way towards the Vietli dead end extract, keeping the perimeter fence on your left and the village on your right until you see the trailer for the extract. To the rear of the trailer there is a bush and in that bush is the final buried barrel. Okay let's move on to part 3. We are starting part 3 at the northmost part of the map near the North Fence Passage Extract. This one's a little hard to describe, so you might have to refer to the map and the surroundings in the video. But just below these power lines, there's a big gap in the rocks and the perimeter, and between two bushes is another buried stash. From here, we're gonna make our way directly south towards the resort. Keeping the resort on your right hand side, head around until you see the kids play area or the jungle gym, whatever you want to call it. And using the jungle gym as your point of reference, with the jungle gym on your right and the buildings on your left, you will see a bush. In this bush is your next buried barrel. We're then going to head down these rocks and continue southeast until you find the power line. Now if you saw my other video, you know the power line we're looking for. We're looking for the one with the big brown bush at the bottom. Inside this bush, you will find your next buried barrel. We will continue along the power lines to the east until you reach the next big power line and the small hill. On top of this hill, next to the tree, is your next stash. Heading southeast, you'll see the radio tower. 
At the radio tower, there'll be a chain linked fence. If you follow the fence round until you reach the bush, you will find your next buried barrel. From here we want to head northeast until you see the railway, follow the railway until you reach the perimeter wall and just where the perimeter wall begins to curve you will see two trees and two large bushes. In between those bushes is your next buried barrel. For the final stash in area 3 we're going to head east towards Road to Customs. Make your way past Road to Customs with it on your left hand side until you hit the water. Head along with your water on your left until you find a large white rock that looks quite out of place. Directly in front of this rock in a bush on the coastline is your last stash. For area 4 we will be starting at the very bottom right of the map at a place called Road to Rail Bridge. You'll see this large concrete worn sniper towers. Just in front of the train at the gate you'll find your first stash in the tall grass. Following the railway with the trains on your right hand side you'll come to a bridge that you can't cross. If you head down to the beach just next to this bridge you'll see your next buried barrel underneath a fallen tree. From here we're going to head inland to the west. Until you see a large rock and a destroyed house. Now the first stash you're actually going to hit here is to the northeast of the sunken house in this bush. If you're struggling to find it look for the bush on top of the weird terrain deformation that's happening here and you'll find your stash. Head southwest to the sunken house and on the eastern corner you will find your stash. That's the stash we just came from over there and here's the new one. Make sure to check around these stashes as I actually found a piece of packer armour just chilling on its own. From here we want to head southeast until you find this small signpost. It's quite hard to find it looks more like a gravestone but just next to this signpost is a tree and by that tree is your next barrel. Carrying on past the signpost, we're going to head southwest until we find this very large rock. At the bottom of the rock, on the easternmost side, you will find a buried barrel just sort of chilling in between the little crevice here. From here, head south towards the crane and construction site here. And make our way inside these blue perimeter walls. Behind this small office building, amongst all these tyres and next to this portaloo, you will find a buried barrel. We're going to make our way along the road towards the west until we find another sunken house. If you head slightly up the hill from that sunken house, you will find a pile of rocks and another bush with another stash in it. This is actually the stash I found the slick hiding in in my last video. We're then going to head northwest past the weather station and all the way along until we find a Ural or a truck if you like and a bridge with a tank on it that's sort of slightly falling off. Underneath this bridge you'll find yourself another stash. It's the only bridge with a tank on it from my knowledge so it should be quite easy to spot. Heading along the ravine to our final stash for area 4 and of the video we're going to make our way to the pier. Head onto the road, across the bridge and then down towards the pier. There's only one way on and off of this area so you can't really miss it. Head past the big building towards the boats and then you'll see this small lighthouse. Now beneath the pathway to the lighthouse to the right hand side you will find your last barrel. If you're interested in seeing another one of these tutorials leave a comment down below on the map you would like to see next and maybe consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss when that video gets dropped. And that will bring us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. As I said at the beginning, there is another video about Shoreline, about scav runs, how to make that sweet, sweet ruble moolah on Escape from Tarkov. So if that interests you, link in the description. If you liked it, please consider hitting the old like button. And if you didn't like it, the dislike button to let me know. And if you're new around here, I'm GFA. Please consider hitting the subscribe button if you think I've earned it. And until next time, I've been GFA, you've been great. Peace out. Who's that? Can't tell. He's in the mask again. Is it Gollum? Is it Gandalf? Ask a friend. Yeah. Well, you can ask your mum. Cause I heard it screaming out last night. It's GFA. And we don't hydrate. We don't posture check. Cause we want that cake. The time.